Before this video begins, I just want to say thank you for bringing me up to 100 subs on YouTube. It's cool that people watch my Blinks content, and I enjoy making it, so that's like a double win for me. Thank you again. Now, onto the video. I've always had a thought on how to possibly get more people involved with the Blink speedrunning community. A common barrier with speedrunning the first game is that it's quite difficult and it deters people away from trying. The controls also don't help with the difficulty of the game either. Blinks is one of those games where you gotta get a feel for the controls to fully master it. But even if you're quite confident with playing, that doesn't mean you can just snag a world record. Blinks has a lot of difficult to execute strategies that are used in the top level runs, taking some time to practice and to understand before becoming successful. There's also the topic of using the fast movement exploit in Blinks. Someone who may be new to the speedrunning game may see these runs and the requirements and may not waste their time investing into Blinks speedrunning. That's why I wanted to create a Blinks speedrun, which keeps the beginner's runners in mind, something that's easy to follow and that can be used as a starting point while also not being too dull. The video will act as a guide for anyone interested in speedrunning the game, or maybe they're stuck on a level and want to see a nice easy way to beat it. For this speedrun, I will not be using the fast diagonal movement. I will be using my Hyperkin Duke Xbox controller that has not been modified. The strategies I'll be doing hopefully won't be too difficult, but I also explain as I go. So sit back, relax, and let's get to it. For stage 1, it's straightforward kill Chrono Blobs and get to the end goal. Make sure not to grab any time control crystals until the next stage. Grab the three pause crystals, then collect two pieces of trash and head to the next area while killing the Chrono Blob. Collect two pieces of trash and deal with the rest of the enemies. After killing the Dust Herders, make sure to collect the ball and not to use it. You'll be rewarded 100 gold at the end of the stage with each ball. If there's another pause crystal, grab it to get two pause controls. This will be used later. If there's no other pause control, then just grab any random one to get one pause control. Collect three pieces of trash and make sure that the last trash is a red barrel. You can use this to boost yourself to the last set of enemies. Enough to do special about this level, collect 3 trash at the start, use it on the Chrono Blob, Octo Balloon, and Dust Murder, suck ball, get 3 more trash, kill enemy, boom. The Dust Keeper has 4 spots it can jump to. It's pretty predictable and it sits in place when it wants to shoot trash at you. After it gets hit, it will jump to a new location and immediately try to shoot you again. This is a good chance to get another quick hit. Once it's down, head towards his body quickly and grab the top. Collect the three barrels, shoot the two octa balloons, and collect the gold that's flowing from the fountain. Next, grab a bomb and shoot it into the Karaka's mouth. Collect the two barrels and then jump on this barrel to boost yourself up. We want to collect one rewind control in this stage, but we don't want to use it on the bridge. Clear the jump if you do it from here. Finish the stage as normal. Skip the shop and head to stage 2. Sweep up 2 trash and kill the Chrono Blob and Spike. You can clear this bridge jump, but if you're having trouble, use your rewind and then grab another one to replace it. Grab the 3 fast forward crystals in the next area, but don't complete it yet. Grab the gold, kill the Karoppa, and head over to the slots. You can hold B to stop time while choosing the time controls, but this can also help you in getting gold. Have the gold symbol positioned so that it is entered from the right. Use a pause, and shoot the target. When the pause ends, you'll be awarded gold. Go to the top, press the button, and collect the rewind crystal to get a fast forward. Collect trash until you have 4, and kill the rest of the time monsters. There's a jump skip that can be accomplished right at the start by holding up and left diagonally, and then jumping. If you don't get the jump, you can always restart the stage and try again. If you're not getting the hang of it, grab this barrel, and then shoot it into the water here. Then, jump on top of it, and then jump to the stairs. Kill the Chrono Blobs, jump across the river, and then deal with the next set of enemies. You can also jump on top of this bridge thing and snipe the spiker. The hitboxes are large, so it's not too hard to hit. Dump into the river and then use a rewind. Collect all the gold before the TomTom -tom biker emerges. Use the roulette to get some gold, using a pause or without it. After dealing with the dust herder and Karapa, 
Grab a bomb, snipe the last corner bomb. It's fairly easy to do, and try to aim more towards the right than the left. Grab one piece of trash and head into the arena. It's fairly simple. Shoot his back and then head onto the upper floors where it's jumping. After the final hit, stand on top of it and grab all the gold. Collect the three trash and proceed as normal. After dealing with this room, treat this chest to get a bunch of gold. After that, you can jump on this coral rock and do a little skip onto this cliff. Make sure you have three trash for the next set of enemies. After hitting the yellow chronoblob, simply sweep up one normal trash, one bomb, and then another normal trash in this order. Then jump on top of this bridge boost to the gold. Before heading into stage 2, go into the shop and buy a time holder and a sweeper pack. Try not to buy any retry holders during the run. There's plenty of retry crystals that you can grab if you need, and it's a good habit to get yourself into. Collect two pieces of trash and then collect two more in the next area. Use a red barrel to boost yourself up to the dust herder and the gold chest. After dealing with the Corona Blobs, make sure that you stock up on trash. The best way to deal with these Mogons is to let them come to you and move before they bite you. After that, grab a record, and if you can't, you can get one next level. Use a fast forward and head to the goal gate. Grab the three trash on the left, then three more. Grab a rewind for later in the level. Then collect seven to eight pieces of trash. When coming to the double doors, collect all the gold except for these triangles before the Tom Tom Biker steals it. Then press the top button for 3 seconds. Hop off, and then press the other button for 3 seconds. Head towards the door and then press rewind. Deal with the rest of the time monsters and then finish. Once again, pretty straightforward. Stand on top of the stone thingies and shoot him when he eats it. But on the last hit, we want to press record so that the boss dupes the gold and double the money. Sweep up one bomb and then shoot it here to cause a catalyst. A nice tip is to have the Octo Balloon shoot trash at you so that that can be used in the next area. Jump on this side of the seesaw for 3 seconds, then use a rewind to jump on the cliff. You can also use trash to boost yourself. Use a pause or a slow to cross the rock bridges. You can actually jump over to the water spirit area without needing the balloon. 
nice way to deal with this water spirit is to sweep up one bomb, run behind it, and shoot it at this wall. When all the bombs explode, the water spirit will most likely have 1 HP left. This will also help with the corrupt. Before entering the stage, head into the shop. This is where we will make our most expensive purchase. We want to buy the level 3 sweeper, another time holder, and a super bomb. Hopefully you should have enough gold. Sweep up the 3 heavy trash at the start, and 2 normal trash. To deal with these dust turtles, then use 2 heavy trash for these chronoblobs. Use a small bomb on the Karoppa, and then use a super bomb in the room with 3 octoballoons and a dust turtle. After killing the gatekeeper, sweep up one bomb to use against the red cropper down below. Brr. Sweep up the heavy trash and then use it against the two spikers in the area with the water spear. Don't forget to grab the gold chest near the bottom. Sweep up the bombs on the left and shoot one to start a chain reaction. If you need time controls, this is a good chance to grab some. Don't worry about taking the balloons to the mount, just use this trampoline to jump there. Sweep up 7 trash to kill the water spirit, but don't be like me and die. With the explosive barrels area, shoot both octa balloons once and then move over to the corruptors to kill them first, then come back to the octa balloons. Same thing again with the water spirit from last time. The best way to beat this boss is to wait for it to shoot its trash at you, then sweep it up and then use it to end the stage quickly. After getting hit, the boss will morph the stage. When the stage morphs, the boss will be vulnerable to attack. To hit the boss reliably, you want to make sure that the trash is travelling before the stage is morphed so that as soon as the arena starts changing, the boss will be vulnerable, and then that the trash will be in close distance before you can do anything. Make sure to money dip for this boss. From this point on, you have to make sure that you money dip for every boss in the game, except for boss 5 and 8. For this stage, your goal is to make sure that you end this stage with two slows and a rewind. Maybe you pause if you feel like it. Start off by sweeping up the small trash and then the big trash. You want to take out the mole gun first, then you can start hitting the chronoblob. Come over here and sweep the two small barrels, then kill the chronoblob, and then sweep up the big barrel. Use it on the spiker and then use the barrel to boost yourself up. Sweep up one piece of trash and then hit the pink octopus, and then spend the rest of the time sweeping while it's recovering. When coming to the saw blade, use a slow and then shoot the chrono blob and spike. Then proceed to sweep up all three golem pieces. Then just deal with the chrono blob and the spike. Grab a rewind if you haven't already, kill the octa balloon, loot the chest, and end the mission. Go to the shop and buy one super bomb. Pick up this big barrel. Shoot the octoballoon and then run up ahead to get to this other big barrel. Shoot the big barrel at the wall so that you can boost yourself up. Then, use a pause or a slow. Place the super bomb in the middle of these enemies and run past these saw blades. Deal with the three enemies in here and then run back through the saw blades. If you don't have a time control, it's okay. Just run past them like this. If you didn't kill the mole gun with a super bomb, then now is the time to do it. Use a rewind to use the barrels to take you up to the top of the level. While you're rewinding, shoot the chrono blob and spike net and try to sweep up as many golden pieces as you can.
After that, head over to the goal gate and drop down to the last set of enemies. After that, you can jump up here and then look. Sweep up two trash and press the button. Head over to the spikers, golem and molgon and press slow. Follow like this. Grab this big log to kill the molgon with and then finish off the spikers. After that, you can actually jump across this part like this. If you don't have any slows, grab one and also grab a rewind if you don't have one either. After dealing with the dust herder and the after balloon, sweep up two pieces of small trash, then one big trash. Flow when the Molgon fully rises, and follow like this. Activate the button and dodge the boulder, and then use the big trash on this spiker. Grab the big barrel and then the little barrel, put the little barrel here, and then jump over the saw blades. Then use the big trash on the spike. Have a rewind ready for this stage. When the boss drops on the ground, wait a full second before pressing rewind. This will give you three easy hits. Then on the fourth hit, his little minions will come out, but it's very easy to dodge. Immediately as you spawn, go over to the right and sweep up all 8 trash. Shoot the combustor soul with all 8 pieces. Quickly sweep up one more trash to finish off the actual monster. Don't hit this button to move the tracks. You can actually jump on top of this to get to the cliff, or you can take the ladder that's on the left. Next, you want to snipe all the enemies from here. Plenty of trash to do so. If any of the chronoblobs run off the edge, they'll immediately respawn. After that, jump onto the tracks down here, and come up to this point. You're going to want to jump on top of the boulder that comes down the tracks to jump on top of this cliff. Deal with the gatekeeper and move on ahead. Collect as much gold as you can here, and try not to get run over. Before crossing this bridge, you can actually snipe the octobloon and the dust herder. Also, you're going to want to double jump before touching this stone bridge. This will delay the trigger of it falling down, allowing you to cross without time control. After dealing with the chronoblobs, grab one bomb and one normal trash, and quickly head over to the switches to open the doors. After that, grab two more bombs to use on the active balloons, and then quickly switch off the big barrel to kill the mole guard. After that, when coming to the conveyor belt, keep to the right so that the barrels won't hit you. The dust herder from before should be 1 HP. Kill him and complete the level. Grab this one piece of trash and then jump onto this track pit. Kill the chrono blobs with normal trash, then sweep up the big trash on the left. Step on the button for the full duration so that you can make it through the door. Hit the purple chrono blob with the big trash and then finish both enemies. Head up the slope and instead of going left, go to the right. Then sweep up some trash and a 16 ton weight and proceed to kill the octoblue. After that, you don't want to go on this minecart. Instead, you can actually just jump over to the other side. Kill the Molgon and the Chronobob, and then head back over here and do a nice big jump to the gatekeeper area. This could be a little tight, but as long as you move before the combustor sword hits you, you should be fine. Next, grab a bomb, shoot the sign, jump on these cube clouds, and then kill the dust herder, and then you're done. Head to the shop and purchase a time holder and a super bomb. Sweep up the three tracks and then jump up to the cliff right here. Kill all the three enemies here, including this octa balloon over here in the distance. 
come over to the button and jump from here, and then take the balloons at the top. You want to sweep up four pieces of trash, one for the switch, one for the octoboon on the tracks, one for the pink octoboon, and lastly for this gold chest. Then shoot the super bomb over to this octoboon to kill everything except for the corona ball. If you need time controls, this is a good time to grab any you need. Sweep up the heavy trash and then a small trash, and then jump up the conveyor belt. Shoot the dust turtle with the small trash and then the mole gun with the big trash. Then grab the big log and aim for the pink octoboon. And then jump across the tracks. Sweep up 3 to 4 trash, right along the track, shoot the target, and then the option balloons, and then head on through. This boss is the easiest boss in the entire game. You want him to shoot one piece of trash at you so that you can use it on his back. After hitting him once, make sure that you have a pause ready. If you need time controls, this is the perfect stage to grab any of them. When he starts spitting barrels out of his mouth, use a pause and sweep up the barrels. You only need 4 to 5 barrels. Run up behind him so that he'll stop spitting rails and he'll be vulnerable again. Rinse and repeat until you achieve the last hit. Make sure to use a record before the gold spews out, and jump off the edge. This will end the record faster and your money will dupe, giving you 2000 gold. Once again, grab any time controls you need. Quickly sweep up the trash on the right and hit the typhoon. After that, hit the ice turtle and then sweep up all the trash. Head down to the bottom with this button and make sure that the door is open all the way. Then you want to skate there by pressing up on the control stick and then letting go quickly and then repeat. If failed, use a rewind to open the door. Make sure that these enemies that use the big trash on the dust turtle. Every other enemy, use the normal trash. Same thing with this button from before, and again, do the ice skating strategy. Shoot the ice turtle to the left so that it damages the spiker and the typhoon, and then move on to the octoballoon. After that, snipe the typhoon and two spikers. Use normal trash for these guys. You want to sweep the 16 ton weight and the big log trash. Then step on the button and just slip through the door. Shoot the spiker with the log, and then the gatekeeper with the 16 ton weight, and then end level. Stage 2 is where a lot of people have problems, but it's not too bad. Go ahead and suck up the log at the start, and then the rest of the trash near the slide. Hit the spiker with the big trash, and then hit the other enemy with the small trash. After that, the next area will help greatly if you have a pause. Use the pause so that the spike door is open, hit the spiker on the other side, and then come back into the room. After standing at the spike door, the spiker will target you and roll towards you, and go through the spikes. Try to collect as much trash as you can before entering the next area, and you'll need a rewind for this bit unfortunately. There's enough trash in this area to deal with all the enemies, but it'll make your life easier if you don't miss. If you're not confident, a record will help greatly in this area. After dealing with the Gatekeeper, Spiker, and Typhoon, head down the slide and grab this big trash to use against the Dust Turtle. The last enemy is the Ice Turtle, so just make sure you're not close to him when you're killing him. Head into the shop and snag yourself three Super Bombs. Two records will be very useful in this level. Grab the big log and head over to the Gatekeeper, then use a small trash to finish him. Grab the big trash along with some small trash. Make sure to hit the spiker with the big trash. Hit the button and then slide down to the ice turtle. Stand here and snipe the enemies. Then shoot the water spirit and typhoon from here until the water spirit is low health. Then use the record and blow them all up with the super bombs.
Before pressing the button, make sure that you have some records, and that you sweep up the 16 ton weight. After opening the door, make sure to double jump here and immediately jump again to avoid the ice trick. Activate the record here and follow what I do here. Bait the gatekeeper to come out and then shoot your 16 ton weight at it. Then, use your super bombs on the rest of the enemies. Wait for your record clone to be finished, killing all the time monsters, then use your 16 ton weight on the spiker behind the gate. Make sure you have one record left to money do the boss. Head to the shop and buy 4 spike bullets. This boss can be quite difficult if not fully understood, but follow as I say and you should be fine. As soon as the stage begins, jump on the pillar stone thing and jump off of it as soon as it's getting eaten, and then shoot. This boss is then going to take a piece of the stage apart on where you're standing. Make sure that you stand on these exact pieces that I stand on, so that the stage can go as quickly and as easily as possible. On the last hit, activate a record, jump through the water to lessen the record time, and have fun with your free 2000 gold. Head on over to the World 6 shop and buy the Water Sweeper and the One Super Bomb. Start the stage by immediately dropping down. If you have a fast forward, shoot the bomb and quickly activate fast forward. If you don't have a fast forward, shoot the bomb at the wall close to the monster, and then run to a corner to not get hit. After the door opens, suck up the big trash and cross the hash brown hill. Stand on the left side so you'd have more time to react to the hash browns coming down. You can cross this bit using a fast forward, or with this method of trash jumping. Stand on the right side this time and make sure that you're looking at the direction of the hash browns. Use small trash on this octa balloon. You want to save the big trash for the spiker in the next room. Have a slow or a pause here. Use either one that makes you feel most comfortable. Shoot the typhoon and then the spiker with the big trash. Then sweep up the golem pieces. With these tesla coils, it will always go in the same pattern. So if you see a spark hit the coil, you have about 1.5 seconds before it strikes the neck. So make sure that you use this downtime to your advantage. Stand here and shoot the enemy safely. After that, we're going to use some more trash jumping to jump on this cog, and then jump over to this side with the combustor saw and the typhoon. You probably have to use a fast forward here. Then, just kill both of these boys, and then jump onto these barrels to snipe the off the balloons. Buy two super bombs before starting the stage. Sweep the small trash for the typhoon, and the big trash for the spike. Use a record for this room and then shoot them with the super bomb. Then before the record ends, shoot the second bomb at the wall. This room will have loads of crystals to stock up. You need two to three pauses, one record, and two rewinds for the future. Hit the button and cross. When coming to this part, quickly jump to the stairs and then activate pause. Or a fucking slow. Jump to the cog and shoot one super bomb over to this octa balloon and then the typhoon. Then quickly sweep up the golem pieces, come over to this big cog and jump up to the catch bird. Wait for the lightning to hit the first coil, then activate the port. Sweep up as many golem pieces as you can and then shoot the combustors. Purchase three super bombs in the shop. Immediately hold right on the stick and jump to land on this fence. Then deal with the combustor saw and the tide boot. After that, you can actually snipe the enemies like this with your super bomb. Use a record and then shoot another super bomb to the spikers and the dust herder. Then drop down and shoot one of the octoballs. In this game, I had one spiker that didn't get killed, so I just waited for the record to end to shoot one more super bomb. Having a pause and a fast forward is crucial for this level. Jump on this thing and use a pause so that you can sweep up the golem pieces. Then come up to the top, shoot the after balloon, and make your way to the lava seesaw. This is what your fast forward will help you with. 
Then, you also want to end this stage with two rewinds for the boss. Buy four spike bullets from the shop. Now this boss is very difficult if you don't have three rewinds. Luckily there's an extra rewind you can grab to get in this stage. When he's rolling, make sure you're always moving to the side and never jumping. You can also get him stuck in this trash. When he drops to the ground, use a rewind and shoot him with your spike bullet. This boss is like boss 5, except he becomes invulnerable after one hit. But it's very simple. Dodge his rolls, wait for him to drop, use a rewind, rinse and repeat. On the third hit, he's gonna go aggressive mode. But this means he's gonna be vulnerable immediately. Shoot him before he jumps, don't worry about money pooping, and then end the level. At this point, if you follow the guide correctly, you should have more than enough gold. Buy 10 spike bullets and head to them the boss rush. With boss 4, wait for him to stand still and then hit him with 2 spike bullets and then 1 normal trash. Boss 7 is the exact same way we do it before. Except we do not want the money dip, we use 4 spike bullets for him. Boss 6, we're gonna wait for him to shoot 1 piece of trash and then use a record. Run into him and shoot his back. You want to make sure you hit him again when he's doing his barrel animation. Then, grab the normal trash and the mission. Make sure to grab two rewinds here. You should then have four spike bullets to use against boss 8. And I'm pretty sure you know what to do here. Grab about four to eight spike bullets in the final shot. This boss has four phases. His normal phase, his clone phase, his aggressive phase, and then his vulnerable phase. For his first two stages, he is vulnerable when he is shooting bombs from his body. You want to shoot when he is shooting bombs. His first phase takes two spike bullet hits, then he'll summon a clone. Same thing with the normal phase. He's only vulnerable when shooting bombs. You have to shoot both when they start shooting. Thankfully, it only takes one hit from a spike bullet to get to the next phase. When his aggressive phase starts, you'll need to activate every single time control once to get rid of his armor. Here's an easy way to stall him while the time control spawns. If he activates a slow or a pause, you can activate a time control to counteract the effects. This is especially useful if you already use the time control and you have spares. If you can't remember what time controls you've used against him, look at the colors coming out of his core. The colors that are flashing mean you haven't used that particular one yet. After all the time controls are used, he's gonna go into vulnerable mode. He's very fast, so make sure that you're far away from him before he charges. Move to the left or right, and then shoot him quickly. And then boot, you've just beaten Blake's the Time Sweeper. My final time for this run was a 134.49, which I think would be pretty amazing for a first timer. I hope this video was useful for any up and coming speedrunner, and I wish you the best of luck. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching, thank you for the subs, and follow my Twitch.